hey everyone welcome to another video and in this tutorial today i will show you how you can fix this wordpress error there has been a critical error on your website so if i try to access my admin area i will keep getting this error and i'm not able to access my admin area and if i try to lo load my website and you can see i'm still getting the same error there has been a critical error, error on your website so for, and fixing this is very simple it is not very hard but first we have to understand why this happens so usually this error happens after you install the plugin or or updated it and you start getting the, your website stops working and you get this error or you you did or you installed a new theme or updated a new theme and you started getting this error so what we have to do is to fix this problem we have to first uh, by trial and error we have to deactivate the pro plugin or theme that is causing this problem so usually you know because you know after which after activating or installing which plugin or theme this error started happening so if you know already know that usually you would know so what you have to do is deactivate that but uh, but the problem is we cannot access the WordPress admin area too. So what we have to do is manually deactivate it. So first go to the cPanel and go to file manager. And from here you will be able to see where your website files are located. So if you are hosting normally your files will be in this public HTML folder. So, if you are hosting only one website, you can just open this and somewhere here there will be a folder for the website. But I am um, hosting multiple websites and for me the folder is this demo folder. So, this I am hosting my website and uh, all my files are in this folder WP. So, first you have to do is check um, if you don't know which uh, plugin or theme is causing that error. What you can do is check this error log. Select it and then click on view. And from here you will have to see the latest error. You can see this is the latest error and it is showing me this plug which plugin is causing this and it is showing me no search file failed to open stream. <coughs> No such files or directory and uh, WP content plugins. A kiss men.php. <coughs> Sorry. And as you can see, this is the plugin which is causing the error, and this is the file which is missing. So it is not able to upload that file. WordPress is, WordPress cannot load that file and causing this error. Uh, and all, if you uh, are not able to see this error log, what you can do is alternatively go to the cPanel and scroll down until you see uh, metric, in metrics tab there will be an option to see errors. So usually just click it and usually there should be errors. Um, if it is not, uh, if it, they are, as you can see there were not, no errors for me showing in that log so and for me this uh, all the errors are logged in this error.log file in the wordpress content folder itself so um, i know which plugin is causing this error so what we ha i have to do is go to wp content go to plugins and as you can see here the plugin causing this error is this kismet Okay, now what you have to do is rename it or alternatively you can select it and then click on rename and then add a underscore and then like type and click hold. Okay, you can just rename it to anything else. I'm just showing it for example. Now what will happen is this will deactivate this plugin and wordpress will load without this plugin so hopefully we will not get this error again so let's try reloading our website 
and as you can see this is working and let's see if our website is working and as you can see we our website is also working normally everything is working and so let's go to the WordPress dash admin area again dashboard and from here if you go to the plugins you will see that this Kismet plugin uh, it has been deactivated the plugin has been deactivated due to an error plugin file does not exist so what you can do is delete this and reinstall it by going to the add new and search for this plugin as you can see it's already here so click on install now and activate that okay so this plugin has been uh, again installed and activated which was causing error right so now so why this error happens is because usually the installation plugin either installation pl plugin process got interrupted so because of you know, a lot of shared hosting do not have uh, much resources and there are a lot of users on the same server so if uh, at peak times what happens is if a lot of users are there's a lot of traffic on the server uh, it can cause the server to choke and the installation process could have been interrupted and which resulted in this error so what i would recommend you is to uh, use a good host uh, if your website is getting a lot of traffic and it is profitable then use a better host and you will be uh, much less you will have much less stress so if you want to know a list of good host i recommend please check the links in the description and to avoid such errors what else we could do is take a backup if your error is still not solved um, for example if you don't know let's reload this and you will be able to see this uh, the old folder has been deleted and the, uh, we have installed the new plugin again plugin again so this is the new folder of the plugin so and what happens in case if you don't know which plugin or theme is causing that error what you can do is either deactivate uh, rename each plugin one by one and reload your website and see which plugin is causing this error for example i will just rename it to old and if i didn't knew and which plugin was causing this error so what you have to do is by hit and trial method you have to rename all, all plugins one by one and see which is uh, causing the error just rename it and try to load if your website works then you know which is the culprit plugin causing the error and if um, if it doesn't yeah sorry what i meant is if your website loads then um, everything is fine you know the plugin uh, which is causing the error if your website doesn't load then you have to uh, rename it back to the uh, its original name and rename the next plugin folder <clears throat> sorry about the voice and similarly if um, uh, if the pl renaming plugins doesn't work what you have to do is rename the themes one by one and to know if it is a plugin or themes what you can do also do is rename the entire plugins folder this will deactivate all the plugins installed on your wordpress site so be careful with this method with this and use it only if you don't have any other way you don't have any backups that you can use to restore your website so this is why i recommend you to please take backups of your wordpress website it is very important and uh, you can watch my tutorial how to create a backup of wordpress website see i have deactivated all the plugins and if i try to load my website and go to plugins see you can see it is loading fine normally and if i go to the install plugins you can see all the plugin have been deactivated so now what you have to do is uh, if you want you can you will have to uh, click add new you can either add, install all the plugins one by one manually again or go to 
reload this and re rename it back to the original name plugins and now if i go to the install plugins you will see all the plugins have been deactivated okay all the plugins for files exist but they have been deactivated so now what you can do is activate them one by one and see which plugin is causing the error so once you know which plugin is causing the error what you have to do is go to the file manager go to plugins and rename that plugin or delete that plugin i would suggest you to rename that plugin and then then go to your wordpress dashboard again reload this for example this plugin was causing error for me so i will just delete it, its content and you can check if the if a lot of other users are also reporting problem with that with that plugin or it was simply a case of bad hosting server which caused uh, the install interruption in the installation of plugin so i hope you found this tutorial helpful and if your problem is still not solved please post in the comments and i will try to help you sorry about the bad voice um i have a sore throat today and um anyways i hope you found this tutorial helpful and i will see you in the next video if you want, uh, and if this tutorial helped solve your problem please leave a like and drop a comment thank you for watching this video